Hello there guys, welcome to this next episode of this Arsenal gameplay. We're just about to take on Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. The table at the moment, I mean, you could argue it's looking okay with a game in hand over third and fourth, but ultimately when you're looking at the actual title race itself, uh, Man United are nine points clear. Um, there's been a few things I've looked at, so in terms of... Um, the decisions that certain people can make within this game. I think people said that you've got to sort of do this, and that's exactly what I've done. So I've sort of moved a few things around. We have a full-strength team at the moment. Um, so the team that we're going to go for, uh, Cole, Campbell, Adams, Duff, Broncos, Vieira, uh, Jungberg, Perez, Henri and Bergkamp. I have put another big bid in for... Uh, Klomp. I'm hoping this one will get it over the line um, and I'm thinking actually when I get Klomp that I am going to put um, Keown on the transfer list. Hopefully someone will come and get with him. And I'm aware that his contract's coming up to an end anyway um, but we'll hopefully we'll get something from him. Not, not, it's not major. I mean it'll just be like 250 grand if anything that comes in. Um, <clears throat> but it's always nice to make a little bit of, of money off players that are just about to go out of contract and leave for free anyway. Um, so fingers fingers crossed really this this sort of works for us here um, I think going here is difficult anyway because it's a London derby um, yeah Hasselbank there with a the goal uh, Vieira playing at 5 he's actually in his advanced position as well there which is really frustrating he's not playing in that defensive midfield role and that's 2-0 already um, it's probably not the best game to actually start a video on, is it really? Going into such a difficult game, it sort of sets the tone out for the rest of the, <laughs> rest of the video. But hopefully we can turn it around. Um, I had a few people saying that you can sort of change it around a heart. Oh, we fucked this anyway, it's 3-0, no, it's gone. Um, so I think we've got to sort of just accept that. I think, look, the title looks like it's gone. I mean, 22 games in. We've got Ipswich away next, which is in three days. I'm, I'm just thinking, should we just simply start to rest players? Um, and that that actually turns into a to a must win get look at that Vieira as a four I'm taking him off I've had enough of him um, let's get Vieira off that's an absolute disgrace that from Patrick Vieira um, Perez can come off Henri can come off we'll we'll just get the usuals I just yeah I, I'm I'm really annoyed with that actually um, I could just imagine it now that someone's going to get get sent off or someone's going to get injured at this point it's an embarrassment this game it truly is I don't know what's happened here but. We've got to stay positive, <clears throat> even though, and I think the, the most annoying thing is the defence, apart from Ashley Cole, has actually played okay. That's the most frustrating thing. I know that it's it's an absolute disgrace that I know, I'm aware of it. Um, I don't know what. Um, it's difficult, isn't it? Because you wouldn't leave Vieira out of the next game anyway, because he's Patrick Vieira. Um, he's probably just had an off day there. But we will have to, to check this out. I don't know whether it's anything to do with the instructions that I've just given him. I don't know. I think I tried to to get him to do a few through balls and things like that. But surely that wouldn't matter. Because back in his day, he was amazing, wasn't he, at through balls, Vieira? Let's have a little look. All right, okay. Jungberg suspended for this game. Um, right... Hang on, I'm trying to think this out now. Probably is going to have to be Parler, isn't it, actually, that goes in that position. Bergkamp's at a 90. See, I don't know who to play here, whether to play Will Tord or, like, I know that Jeffers has just joined. He's got to, to, I don't know. We'll stick with this. Let's see if this does anything to, to change our look here. I'm kind of hoping that it does. I mean, it's a different challenge. I mean, Ipswich were good in the day. You look at Marcus Stewart, he was phenomenal for, for Ipswich. Uh, they did actually have a really good season with him. That's a good start. That is a good start. Oh, that's, see, God, it annoys me. Now Campbell's injured, which is a massive worry. Because he's probably one of, well, he is the best centre-back at the club at the minute. So that makes Klomp... The, the transfer bid for Klomp extra important now. Get him Will Tord. I needed him. I need honestly I needed him to step up so oh, bloody hell man. Matthew Holland, he's a good player as well. I think I just think the title oh, just 
just seems a bit too much to ask for with it against this United team. We've got Darby. Oh, get in, Thierry. Oh, thank God we got him. So I don't know who I can bring on here. Oh, bloody hell, man. Oh. Three or I mean, I don't know. I suppose a point away from home is okay. All right, come on. We, I, what's going on with this beard here now? I've put a bit of eight point five million in for him. I'm, I'm the Leeds gameplay that I've been playing recently. I got him for two point nine million. All oh, right, Larson. He was one that was bringing in. I actually forgot about Larson. You know. Let's see. I suppose he actually would be quite a good sign in Henrik. And then that would definitely pave the way for one of these strikers to go, I think. I think probably Canu. He wants a new contract anyway. I think I'll probably just put him up for sale. Yeah, he's accepted that. Okay. Right, so Henrik Larsson is in. Canu. Yes. Okay, people want him. That's good news. As long as they give me five million for him, I really don't care. All right, that's amazing news. Right, so now you're talking. I mean, obviously you've got Bergkamp as well. I mean, he's got 11 goals. Henri is your main man. I just, I'm, I'm excited to see what, what can happen here. Yeah, fans celebrate Larson. <sighs> no, let me have a look at the next bid. I'll accept it. It's money coming in, isn't it? I suppose it's, yeah, it's money coming in. Right, let me get rid of him to the reserves just so he's out of the picture altogether at this moment. Um, right, I'm quite excited now. I am really excited about the prospect of Larson and Henri playing together up front. I'm hoping it's going to be quite a good partnership. Lovely jubbly. Carnu can go for 5.5. Um, I don't know how much money we've got left now. This is the, the concern about Klomp and if I have enough to... No, he's not going. I'm not getting rid of Perez. I'm sorry, I'm not. Oh, to be yeah, seven. I didn't realise had that much money actually. Uh, that's not bad at all. Again, it's the defence. It's just it's too slow. Right, Youngberg is back. That's good news. Okay, I mean, pff, fingers crossed here. Fingers crossed here that we see a better performance with the introduction of Henrik coming in. I'm just praying that he, he he gets off the ball running. I mean, he looks he looks sharp. He's at an eight already. He does look sharp. There you go, debut goal. Now that is good news. Kelly and Youngberg as well. He's back. That's fantastic. Just don't. We just can't afford to drop any points in these types of games. Oh, lovely. Jungberg with a second. I think I think we've just got to look at second, haven't we? I've run in the Champions League. It'd be great. This, I actually think this group has been very kind to us. I think we're still in the FA Cup. Wonderful. That's the next game. Second in the Premier I, I think. I think if we break it down, if we say, right, second in the Premier League, semi-finals, Champions League, winners of the FA Cup, that's not a bad season in my eyes. Obviously, you want to win everything, but I'm just trying to think realistically here. I think Champions League might be one step too far with some of the teams that are in there, but like Roma, Juve, um, you know, Madrid, Barca, even like United are still in there. You know, you'll come across them at some point. I'm sure it's just going to be, I think it's just going to be too tricky. Uh, but that's an amazing debut. That oh, what a man! What a man! I'm over the moon with that, guys. That is a really, really good... Well, it started off poor, didn't it? Let's be honest. Anyway, guys, please remember to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and hopefully the tide is starting to change.